Did you know that there was an application that will allow you to stream directly from your phone to YouTube using either your cell phone Wi-Fi or your cell phone network, or you can even bond the two networks together using the same application. And that's gonna allow you to create a strong signal in order for you to have a stable live stream and go live directly from your phone without needing a computer. This is so cool if you wanna either stream from your studio, but it becomes even cooler if you want to do some sort of mobile setups or let's say you want to stream some sports or creating content outdoors i mean there are so many cool use case scenarios so let's not take much time let's actually dive right into it what's going on guys my name is sam and of course the application that we're gonna be using it's called omnistream you can find it from google play and right now it's available on android only so we're gonna go ahead and actually download it and i'm gonna show you all the steps all the settings that you need to actually get right before you can go live on youtube without any problem so right now i've got my phone okay and all you need to do guys you need to go to your google play okay and look for omnistream and once you have it downloaded it's gonna look like this this is the icon okay and then for the first time when you click on it it's gonna ask you to create an account and just go ahead and register follow all the instructions it's actually super super easy uh, it's probably gonna ask you you know things like your phone number your email address just basic stuff to get you set up once you have everything set up you're gonna open the application and it's gonna look exactly like this so i'm gonna show you the basic settings that you actually need to get right before you can go live okay so the first thing you're gonna go to this this hamburger menu kind of thing okay and as you can see you're gonna have your email address and your name and everything just to show that you logged in okay so you can go to settings here in my opinion most of the things when you're starting out you don't need to do much in the settings here but you can go through them so the only thing that i kind of did that i didn't have before was actually to enable full screen so just go here where it says enable full screen and enable it this is gonna help you to see your picture in full screen mode kind of thing but other than that uh, for the basic settings for the first time everything is gonna be really set well you don't need to play with it and once you get comfortable you can obviously do more but other than that we're gonna go through everything else so the first icon here this is where we're gonna be setting up our destination so we got facebook youtube twitch uh, we even have rtmp srt custom rtmp so like you can stream to mostly any platform that you want so the next menu this is where we're gonna add our graphics to create a more dynamic and kind of cool looking stream so as you can see we got the logo you can add your own logo you can add lower thirds you can add some starting soon graphics we can choose the size of our graphics if you want to go full size we can choose sports if we're streaming sports actually this feature is super cool this is probably gonna be for another video but if you're streaming sports you can actually have some sort of scoreboard which is awesome all right and then the next menu is gonna be this message icon thing this is where the team if they need to reach out to you they're gonna be able to reach out to you all right the next menu icon this is gonna be super super important this is your beat rate for streaming okay so we're gonna go ahead and actually click to wait okay and as you can see you can adjust the beat rate that you want again for streaming on youtube actually youtube recommends up to 10 megabits per second if you're streaming in full hd but personally depending on how much internet speed that you have available for me i've tested around 6 megabits per second and the stream looks good uh, because i was streaming over wi-fi and i wasn't sure i was gonna be able to push 10 megabits per second but don't worry with the application you can actually go ahead and test your speed you can go to this settings menu and then go where it says speed test and then the application is gonna test the speed for you now depending on how much bandwidth you have available let's say if you have 20 megabits per second Second, usually the rule is to go ahead and actually use at least uh, up to half a little more than half of what you have so again depending on how much speed you have available you're gonna determine what's best bit rate for you but again between 6 and 10 you should be good all right and then next we're gonna go ahead and go to this camera icon here 
okay and then this is where we're gonna choose our camera sources so using OmniStream, you have three options the first option is to use either your front camera or your back camera from your phone okay so if i click to camera source as you can see we have internal back or that's the back camera of your phone and then we have internal front and then we have the omni capture so the omni capture is actually gonna be something like a dslr or a mirrorless and i'm gonna show you exactly what you need to be able to set up a dslr camera into the omni stream software but it's super easy you need a capture card an hdmi cable and that's pretty much it and that's actually how i'm running this stream right now as you can see on the phone right so i'm gonna show you that in a minute but other than that for the camera sources you have the kilo view p1 and p2 that's a different encoder and you probably don't need to use it or maybe one day we're going to talk about it in another video but for now we really have those three options available and personally my favorite one is going to be the omni capture which allows me to use a dslr camera that has really really good image but if i wanted to i can use this front camera so as you can see i can switch all right and what you're seeing right now is actually my uh my studio here right that's those are my notes and everything okay so i can also go ahead and go to camera source and then switch to front camera and as you can see that's me right now okay so that's like the front camera from my phone but again my best option right now is the omni capture which is my dslr that's connected via hdmi cable all right the next thing we have the frame rate for most people if you are not gaming if you're doing some Something like a talking head or you know just normal streaming that's not gaming 30 frames per second is gonna be enough but as you can see you have 24 25 30 frames per second you have 60 frames per second full hd so you need to choose your frame rate and your resolution for most people it should be 30 frames per second 1080p this option right here but again you have other options you even have 4k if you need to use it the last settings that we need to choose here is gonna be our uh, codec type okay for now personally i will actually recommend you use h264 that's what i use and it works fine no problem but you have h265 available if you need it as well all right but that's pretty much it for the camera icon and all the settings from there so the next menu icon we have here we have our audio this is where you can actually monitor your audio coming in okay and then the next icon is a microphone icon this is where you can choose the audio input all right so right now you have the built-in microphone like the actual microphone of your phone that you can actually choose next option you have the usb audio which will be the capture card that's bringing in audio via usb type c into the phone that one you can actually use it and that's the one that i'm using that's like the clean audio coming directly from my camera which is awesome and next you can even use something like a mixer or anything but the thing is everything has to come through the capture card so through hdmi through the capture card that's where you're gonna be able to choose your audio next you have an option to mute your audio again this is if you want to just stream with that audio which in my opinion i don't see why would you need to stream with that audio but again if you need it maybe you want to just display some pictures and graphics and stuff it's possible as well that option is available next we have this pound sign this is gonna be if you want to have some grid on the screen just to be able to you know to use it as a reference okay and then next is an icon to be able to lock the portrait or the uh, landscape mode all right next we have the go live button we're gonna be using in a moment and then our next icon here is gonna be our network settings right so if you have a cell phone line into your phone and you're using wi-fi at the same time you're gonna see them showing two by two right now i have one by two because i don't have a sim card in this phone so this is gonna be super useful you don't have to do anything but if you have two networks available in your phone your phone is actually going to be able to use what they call network bonding to be able to bond together the two network 
sources and actually create a stronger signal which is super super important when you live streaming mobile maybe you are in a place where uh, you don't have access to a strong signal or a strong network signal you can actually using the bonding technology to be able to send a stronger signal which is awesome so that's pretty much it for the menu so now before we actually connect to youtube and go live i'm gonna show you all the hardware that you're gonna need if you need to use the option of using a dslr camera camera so i want to show you my rig right now so what you need to do obviously you're gonna need a camera or dslr camera or mirrorless camera so i have my gh5 just a quick example all right and of course you're gonna need the phone and you're gonna need something to uh, kind of help support your phone or mount it on the top of your camera you can use a cage or anything okay you're gonna need some sort of usb type c adapter to full usb and then you're gonna need a capture card and next you're gonna need an hdmi cable all right and then that hdmi cable is gonna go either into your camera right because your camera needs to have hdmi output or if you want to be extra fancy like me you can actually use something like the atem mini which is a switcher that can take up to four camera inputs right so if you want to build a multi-camera setup uh, right now i have camera one connected i have also camera two which is my overhead camera here all right camera three is gonna be my computer screen if you want to show maybe share some stuff on my computer but it could be maybe a webcam it could be something else okay anything that can actually send an hdmi signal into the atm will just work all right and then from there you can actually connect the hdmi into the capture card capture card into omni stream okay and of course i'm gonna leave a link down below if you guys need to purchase some of these little accessories and again if you have questions let me know but that's how my setup is right now and it works fantastically so next up we're gonna go ahead and actually set up our live stream to youtube so usually what you need to do you're gonna go to this arrow kind of menu okay or export configuration icon as you can see i already have my youtube channel connected again for the first time you're gonna click to the icon and omnistream is gonna open a browser and it's gonna ask you to log into your google account that's connected to your youtube channel once you log Logged in, make sure you hit allow to allow Omnistream to connect to your YouTube channel and you are good to go. So once you're done, it's going to look like this, exactly like what I have right now, okay? And then what you need to do is you're going to go ahead and click to it. And now what we have is we are going to be able to create an event before we go live or kind of schedule a live stream. All right. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and fill in all the YouTube settings. Privacy, obviously, you want to make sure it's public because you're going to be streaming publicly. Unless it's not, then you can go ahead and choose either private or unlisted. And then what we need to do, we're going to go ahead and actually create an event okay so for the first time you just gonna need to go ahead and choose create an event and add a title we're gonna go ahead and call it omnistream testing all right and then for the category we're gonna choose whatever you want but we're gonna go ahead and maybe call it video blogging it depends on what you're streaming a description we can say testing omnistream and then once we're done everything's good we're gonna go ahead and actually click submit and then boom as you can see our youtube stream event is created you got a link if you want to watch it you can actually go ahead and copy it here right here and watch it but other than that we're gonna go ahead and close this tab here all right and then what we need to do we're gonna go ahead and actually click live and we are live right now as you can see our bit rate is actually around four five it's gonna you know, be go between four five six megabits per second and everything looks good as you can see we got some audio coming in i got my camera i can switch angles no problem if i want to share some screen no problem and the stream as you can see the bit rate and everything it's good it looks good we're streaming at 1080p 30 frames per second and if i go to to youtube i'm gonna show you a screen so if i go in the back end of my youtube and go to manage as you can see i have a stream already kind of going on no problem i can click to it i can even modify it if i want you can go ahead and actually customize it if you want if you monetize you can go ahead and monetize you can even add the thumbnail and everything okay and again if you want to customize your stream i can go here and actually add a thumbnail here all right this is 
just a quick example something like this and you can add it to a playlist you can do all the good stuff here and even if you monetize you can actually go ahead and monetize the stream and everything right now i'm not monetized on this channel and once you're done you click save and then you're good to go so as you can see the stream is healthy no problem i can even copy the stream url and then i can paste it in here all right and then we're gonna we, we can go ahead and actually watch it on the big screen no problem as you can see the stream is looking good no problem healthy uh we're streaming in full hd as you can see the quality everything is there stable guys again everything coming directly from my phone just here guys look at this that's it right the phone is driving everything guys i didn't do anything else it's just the phone sending everything to youtube all right so once you're done streaming all you need to do you're gonna go ahead and actually click this big red button and the stream is actually going to stop and boom you're done all right again what i would recommend to have a super super professional live stream would be to schedule your stream in omni stream and then before you hit the go live button go in the back end of your youtube and customize it at your title again if you want to change it add your thumbnail make sure it looks really really good the way you want it and then once you're done everything if it looks good in back in youtube you can go ahead and actually go to your phone and hit go live and then boom you're gonna be able to go live and people when they discover you they're gonna see a thumbnail and a good title and everything guys done from either your laptop or any bigger screen kind of thing okay that's gonna be a little more professional and it's gonna kind of be optimized for youtube okay but other than that you can still do everything inside omni stream no problem except you can add a thumbnail that's the probably the only thing that you can do which in my opinion is super super easy to do uh, on a computer or any other bigger screen if you have questions comments suggestions feature requests make sure you leave them down below in the comment section but other than that if you want to live stream on facebook using the same application i'm gonna do another video showing you step by step on how to set up this application for streaming on facebook and once it's done it's gonna be linked right here and i will see you guys there Take care.